The first flight due to deport asylum seekers from Britain to Rwanda has been grounded after a series of legal challenges. The government says they are disappointed but undeterred. It comes as more than 250 asylum seekers arrive in the UK, crossing the English Channel in small boats. Somebody to lean on. Prince William and his wife Kate mark the fifth anniversary of a catastrophic tower block fire in London in which 72 people died. In Beijing, thousands of people are being locked down and millions face compulsory testing after a surge in COVID-19 cases. And could the best be yet to come? After nine years together, the K-pop supergroup BTS announced that they are taking a break to focus on their solo careers. The jailed Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny has been moved from the prison where he was being held and taken to an unknown location. An opposition spokeswoman cited concerns, saying Navalny was now alone within a system that had earlier tried to kill him. The Sri Lankan cabinet has approved a plan for a three-day weekend for the next three months for most state sector employees as the country faces a crippling fuel shortage. Fridays will become a paid holiday for staff in non-essential services. It will, however, not apply to employees in key sectors such as health, energy, education and defence. Sri Lanka is struggling to import fuel, resulting in long queues outside petrol stations. Ryanair has dropped a controversial test in the Afrikaans language aimed at in identifying passengers travelling on fake South African passports. The boss, Michael O'Leary, said imposing the test doesn't make any sense. The policy caused outrage in South Africa, where many black people associate Afrikaans with the days of white minority rule. South Africa has 11 official languages and Ryanair never explained why it chose Afrikaans. Air pollution could be shortening the lives of people in Delhi by as much as a decade, according to a study by the University of Chicago. Air quality across India has worsened significantly in the past two decades. In 2019, India had the highest level in the world of tiny particulates, which can clog lungs and cause a host of diseases. The highest administrative court in France says it will decide in the coming days whether or not to ban the burkini or Muslim swimming costume in public swimming pools. The court has examined an appeal from the city of Grenoble ch challenging a ban on a new city ruling allowing burkini swimsuits in public pools. Police in Brazil say they've arrested a second suspect in connection with the disappearance of an expert on indigenous people, Bruno Pereira, and a British journalist, Dom Phillips. The two men went missing in a remote part of the Amazon more than a week ago. A local fisherman was arrested last week. Police say they are still looking for the two missing men. There's been a sharp rise in the price of natural gas on European markets after a major US producer announced that one of its export terminals would remain closed for months. Freeport LNG said an explosion and fire last week had halted operations at the plant in Texas.